costumes, at least. Hello, everybody. Uh, me, again. Uh, here with some eight ring tutorial today. I'm going to teach you the um, double double ring isolations, I guess. I don't know technical terms for it. But it's going to be this cool nonsensical stuff. Alright, so first step, go watch my last two videos to get you up to date with how I spin them and the basic just one one ring tutorial. So now that we got two of them, you're gonna start out with them in front of you like so. Be way out here, super close to your face, somewhere right in between. You're also going to want one of these rings in front of the other so that way when they get to this point they're not smacking into each other and again like I said you don't want this you don't want it too close but somewhere wider right in between um, also doesn't matter left or right in front, just one in front of the other, whichever is more comfortable for you. So now that we have that down and out of the way, we're gonna go, we're gonna start here, all right? And then like the other video, you're going to, we're gonna start with these top rings as our base, is what I'm gonna call them, or that's what we're, what we're dancing around. So these top ones are going to be the base and we're going to go to the right, which is my left. So we're going to, when we start, we're just going to do quarter turn to, to the right, quarter turn to the top, making sure that our bases try to not move as much as possible. Quarter turn again, and we're back at the beginning. So it's just simple quarter turn, top, side, down. Quarter, quarter, down. And then slowly not stop at those points and just continue the circle. Mine are probably off. I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me if I'm not the best at the moment. I'm just trying to get everybody on the same page. And also don't forget when you're doing this, you know, don't don't get stuck just going one direction. Definitely, you know, quarter turns to get comfortable enough to get all the way around. Back the other way. Um, Want to make sure that when you know you're doing your turns, and you get to your your half turn, that these line up as best as possible. Not it's not going to be perfect every time, but if you want that, you know, seamless look, it's all about angle with these. Um, mine are homemade, so my circles aren't going to be perfect, but they do the job. Uh, oh, also, that's another one. Um, you don't always have to go around, you know, the base. You can keep them still. Just don't move your hands. So that's another kind of isolation uh, you know, a lot of people go like that simple move so you spin them into the center make it one center boom uh, yeah there's a little there's a little 
not what we were doing, but I got into it. Um, so yeah, that is that for this one. Just the basic beginning of getting it down with that base up there. And then once that is good, you'll be able to transfer into, so your bases are always gonna be right next to each other. Um, so once you do like a top rotation, now the bottom ones are gonna be the base. Top, bottom. And that is how you can move your circles. Um, so the bottom ones, you go like whomp. Now the next two, so it's gonna be this one and this one. Whomp. Now it's gonna be the top ones. These top two, the bottom, the two right ones. Two top ones, the two left ones, the two right ones, the bottom ones. You get the picture. Awesome sauce. Practice makes perfect, and uh, I hope I hope this helped somewhat.